Okay, here we go with installing ArcGIS 10.3 from the internet. Um, I've already checked to make sure that I have all the system requirements. I'm running Windows 7 32-bit with 4 gig of memory. That certainly worked well before and it should work now. So now let's go to the um, this website here and give it our code. So I've copied and pasted the URL um, that redirects to something more complex, but it does get you in the right place. Uh, I already have an Esri account, so I will log in. Uh, you may need to create a new one, but uh, either should get us to the same place. So uh, I um, I have a LastPass password manager here, so that helps me uh, move along a little more quickly. And I will sign in. And here's my number, which I have uh, uh, copied to the clipboard and pasted here. You will have your own number, and I will click Activate. I'm doing this particular procedure for the first time myself. Uh, I can't do it more than once with the same registration number, so I may get a few surprises, but hopefully nothing too bad. Uh, I want 10.3 for desktop, so I will click this. If I have... oh, well, I went ahead and uninstalled it anyway. So according to this, if you have an earlier version installed, I, you don't need to remove it. So now we download... Um, I already have the .NET Framework installed. Uh, if you have any difficulty with that, uh, see us uh, uh, personally. So uh, I've already installed .NET Framework, and I need to install and authorize ArcGIS for Desktop. This looks like the one I want, ArcGIS for Desktop. Uh, this, as I said, I already have. Uh, the downloaded installation is pretty straightforward. I will, may treat this separately later. So let's go ahead and download. So click to confirm. If it should fail to start, click here now. Let's see if it works automatically. And uh, uh, you may or may not get a dialogue depending on the settings of your browser. Uh, if you don't get a dialogue, it may go uh, direct to your download folder me and I generally download things to my desktop so that's what we're going to do here. And uh, it looks like it's going to take a while so uh, I'm going to pause here and I will rejoin you after the download is complete. Okay we're back the download has completed as you can see. Let's go back to our instructions for a moment. I've basically done the steps uh, noted here. Uh, as mentioned on the website, uh, you don't have to uninstall unless you have a really early version. Uh, if you don't have anything installed at all, then you're good. Um, if you do not have the .NET framework, you, uh, are need, you need to download and install it, as was also mentioned on the website. And uh, on the instructions here, we have a little tool uh, to see if uh, .NET framework is installed. Okay, so I've completed the download, and uh, that pretty much brings us to step 10, which is to locate and run it uh, to install. And uh, at some point, we will need to enter uh, the same code number we entered earlier. So let's see what I've got here. Here's the uh, install. As I said, I'm doing it in this fashion for the first time, so hopefully I won't uh, encounter anything too confusing. So let's double click. Um, if you did not download to your desktop, you will have to find uh, where your download action. Okay, we have a little paranoia pop up here. Uh, we'll just uh, tell uh, Windows to go ahead and run this and uh, no reason not to accept the default here for the uh, download folder. Clicking Next. 
or rather the unpacking folder. I think all the files are already in the thing we download. Okay, everything has been extracted, so we'll go ahead and launch the setup program. And click Next, and accept license agreement, and click Next. And we'll install everything. And Next and we'll accept the defaults for Python and user experience. This allows it to snoop on you a little bit uh, so that they can improve their software and well they should so we'll be good citizens and leave that checked. If you don't feel like it feel free to uncheck it. So now let's install. And while we're installing Let's go back to the web page and download our tutorial data, which we did not before. Let's go ahead. Okay, there's my data. I'll save it. And let's see how our install is going. Okay, this may take a while, so I'm going to uh, stop the recording until this gets done. I will uh, clue you in if anything interesting or alarming happens. Okay, the installation is now finished, and it took quite a while. I don't know exactly how long because I actually went out for a walk, but whenever I watched it, there was always some sort of activity going on, at least uh, changing text. Uh, to assure you that uh, progress was being made. I click finish here. This time uh, I, I basically reinstalled and when I was asked if I wanted to upgrade because I cleaned out the registry as best I could, but it still detected my previous license. So it asked me if I wanted to upgrade, and I said no. And then I got this thing. So what I think I need to do is choose... These are like ancient names, so I don't know what's going on here, but I will choose single user and uh, click authorize now, and let's see what happens. I've installed my software and I need to authorize it. All right. Authorize using the internet. All right. And uh, now I'll pause while I fill all this stuff out. Okay, I've uh, filled out the form, so I'll click Next. And uh, okay, I'll pause again while I do this. Okay, filled these out. Click Next. And finally, it is asking for that authorization number. So this is promising. Uh, let's see if I can... Uh, oh, um, it's in the email I got. So let's see. Here we go. Grab that. authorization number, I guess they call it. And uh, there it is. Click next. Let's see what happens if I fill in the number for all of these. Okay, uh, let's see what it gives me. Awesome! Okay, so the key is if you are asked to um, upgrade if you had a previous version installed, just click No and go through the dialog that uh, I just showed you. So we'll click OK. And uh, by the way, on another screen, the, the final install dialog was still showing and it went away as soon as I clicked um, uh, OK here. So that last 
uh, box is going to linger. It looks like it's frozen, but it's just waiting for this other dialog. So my install is now complete. And um, OK, it's off screen right now. But I'm going to go ahead and go to my program menu and start ArcMap. And uh, let's see if I have better luck this time. And there we go. We are in business. Blank map. Okay.